still remains. It's called Terror Town, which may sound like something out of a movie, but it's a reality in one South Side neighborhood. You're looking at surveillance video of people buying heroin right on the street. Police say undercover officers have been keeping a close watch on this operation for several months, and now 15 people are under arrest. The dangerous area that police are calling Terror Town encompasses the blocks between 75th and 79th streets, stretching from Yates to Colfax. And as CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli reports, officers aren't done trying to clean up those streets yet. That's them after they had just served an undercover officer and what they're doing with the money. Two accused drug dealers are caught on tape right after police say they sold heroin to an undercover officer. Sometimes the deals go down in vehicles. Other times they happen in what police call powwow lines, where drug dealers use phones to direct junkies to temporary drug stores. Here, heroin users are lined up at 79th and Essex. And they'll pull up, and that's how they serve their narcotics. And then the open-air drug market disappears almost as quickly as it was set up. It operates more like organized crime. These guys were making about $15,000 a day. At the top of this section of the Black P-Stones, police say, is Eric Guthrow, who was busted along with 14 other gang members. His name formerly used to be Eric Fort. He's a nephew of Jeff Fort. That's the same Jeff Fort who founded the El Rukin Street Gang and who is currently in prison. And although Guthrow adopted a new name, police say he didn't shy away from his old one. This placard was used, police say, at his phony real estate business. Here, members of the P-Stones pay tribute at Jeff Fort's mom's grave. Community members hope the bust will quiet things down in a crime-ridden part of town. So you think this could make a difference? I hope it does. In November of last year, officials say police officer Michael Flisk and a resident were murdered behind Guthrow's house. But they wouldn't say whether any of the drug dealing charges will be upgraded. Do you expect any of these folks to be charged with murder? Again, there's ongoing investigations which I can't get into. So far, one person has been charged with Officer Flisk's murder. I also asked what, if any, role Jeff Fort might be playing in all of this while sitting in federal prison. Police said they couldn't comment on that particular part of the investigation. But Robin Guthrow's uh, Fort sign, that was pretty brazen. It, it certainly is. And they even had a T-shirt emblazoned with Jeff Fort's face, too. Mm. All right. Thanks, Mike.